Phoenix 3-1. Guidance systems are back online. Standing by with a full payload of JDAMs. Requesting clearance. Lightning 3-1, you are cleared to engage. Bring in the hard deck. DOT, five seconds. Weapons away. Verify initial strikes on the Predator feed. Sir, appears all sites have been neutralized. Good work, Sandman. We've regained air dominance over Manhattan and pushed the front line back to the river. What's our next target? The Russian command vessel is an Oscar II submarine carrying enough cruise missiles to level the eastern seaboard. We need to strike fast before they can launch a counterattack. Roger, what's the mission? Infiltrate the vessel, take over the bridge, then turn their weapons against their own fleet. I need you to link up with the SEALs and get it done. Good luck. Get up, boys. Where's our infill point? Brooklyn Battery Tunnel. I thought it collapsed. It did. In position. STV Team 4, this is Metal 01. Radio check in the blind, over. Roger 01, we have you 5x5. Five five. Phase line echo secure. We have execute authority. We're one minute out. Copy that. Just don't start the party without us. Almost through. Okay, so Hunter Killer, uh, we are underwater at the moment. I think this was. No, 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 I think Modern Warfare 2 had an underwater sequence, yeah. This is the first time I think we actually got to control what we do underwater, though, if I'm not mistaken. These little uh, things. Find the mine and so blah, 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 whatever. Ooh, it's kind of creepy in here, actually. Having just played The Last of Us, uh, this sequence kind of looks similar to another sequence in Last of Us. This whole tunnel aspect of it. I like subs, but not the these kind. What what is your favorite uh, sub place? Uh, in Canada, what's in Canada we have. That's right. I gotta watch out for these things. Yeah, better pay attention here. Uh, but in Canada we have Quiznos. We have. Oh come on. A moment. I think I gotta wait till this the section's over before I talk about subs and Quiznos and all this stuff. Okay, I guess I'll continue with the Quiznos uh, talk. Uh, in in. Uh, in Canada, for sub places, I mean, of course, you got your mom and pop type of uh, restaurants or whatever. You know, you're indep independently owned, but then you have like you know your chain type of stuff. And as far as chains are concerned, we have Subway. I think a lot of the American ones: Subway, Quiznos, Mr. Sub. Uh, of all those, I always preferred Subway. And uh, so, yeah, what's your favorite uh, sub? Or a sub place, uh, maybe it's none of the chain ones. Maybe it's like a, like, it's, like I said, an independently owned uh, uh, restaurant, your local restaurant. Just uh, name it in the comments below. I like to hear it. Subs ready for dressing. I gotta be honest, like, I mean, I, I know the graphics are, like, amazing on this game, and as far as graphics are concerned, Call of Duty's never been the top. Even on PC, it was never really the, I would say, like, the top of the line when it comes to 
graphics. It was always about the gameplay, and it's never really changed. But uh, I gotta say, overall, especially for a PS3 game, or like what we consider now a current gen game, uh, it's not too bad. I mean, obviously there's still jaggies and and aliasing problems and, and whatnot, but come on, here we go, enter. But there's some nice scenery in this. They did a good job, like with uh, some aspects of it. But also a Call of Duty. I mean, again, it's not the uh, uh, big graphical juggernaut that is like you know a Crytek game like Crisis or or whatever. But uh, and there's a lot of smoke and mirrors right, with a Call of Duty game because they want that you know that 60 frames uh, bullet point. Oh shit. Okay, I gotta hide my ass. Just like in real life, folks. Uh, just get to cover when you're fatally injured and uh, you'll heal right up. Pro tip of the day. Do I have anything else? I'll waste a pistol. I could grab the striker then. I feel like I want to blast this dude in the face. Let's go. Blast this dude in the face. Where is he? Oh, crap. <laughs> Pretty sweet gun. Doesn't really have a lot of range, though, unfortunately. Mr. Sandman. <laughs> Speaking about Mr. Sandman, you know that song, right? Mr. Sandman, give me a dream. Whatever, whatever the way it goes. I always thought, even even until recently, I always thought that was Mr. Sandman, give me a tree. And I'm sure I'm not alone in that. I actually uh, I spoke with a couple people at work who swore that's what it was. And it wasn't until uh, I was actually looking for the song on iTunes. I think it was iTunes. That uh, I'm like, oh my god, it's actually a dream. <laughs> of course, you know n now it makes sense. But uh, I'm like, why would the song? And I remember uh, thinking it was always strange because uh, having also watched Back to the Future recently, uh, in the first one, uh, it's the song that's playing when Marty first goes back to 1955. And uh, I always thought it was kind of strange that they were playing this song about, you know, Mr. Sandman giving him a tree in a not very Christmas movie. <laughs> now it makes a ton of sense. Little side fact of, uh, I guess, my stupidity or whatever. Didn't work out all that bad. Console, console is right here. Three, two, one, turn. Overlord, missiles armed and launching. Roger, SEAL team is in position for exfil. Go, go. A little boat sequence. Let's go. This 
I always considered the Call of Duty series kind of like, you know, especially now, uh, maybe early on, uh, there was a lot of, on, that's what will kill these dudes. There we go. Uh, early on, maybe, it, I wouldn't say it's historic, historically accurate necessarily, but, uh, you know, it, it had a bit more history. Uh, it was somewhat more realistic than uh, games at the time, but then they went this complete opposite direction with, uh, uh, you know, with Modern Warfare, or big set pieces one after the other. And. <coughs> That's the second name. Here. Not too bad. But, you know. It, as from Call of Duty for onward, this is basically was considered, uh, considered like the Michael Bay of video games, like the over-top explosion. So it's kind of funny uh, hearing the news recently that uh, a Gra or Ghost Recon movie is going going to be directed by Michael Bay. It's a little cliffhanger thingy. All right, on to the next.